If you put in the hard work and tie up a beautiful fly, the last thing you want is for that fly to come unraveled and fall apart while you're out there on the water. And so learning how to properly finish off your fly, a whip finish is an essential technique as you begin your fly tying journey. So let's learn how to do it right now. First, you're gonna hold the whip finisher right at the top of the sleeve so that it doesn't rotate. Then you'll place the hook of the tool directly on the thread and then loop the tying thread around the arm. Then you're gonna slide your fingers down onto the sleeve and it'll start to rotate a little bit. And at this point, your thread should be parallel to the hook. And as you bring that whip finisher up above the hook, you'll see a backwards number four. Continuing to hold your thread parallel to the hook, turn or rotate the whip finisher around the hook. Do this four to five times. Then let the thread slip off the arm and pull the bobbin end of the thread away from the hook, closing the loop. And then we'll slide the hook of the tool out of the loop. Now grab your tying scissors and trim off the thread. And if this is your first time doing a whip finish, I recommend grabbing the biggest hook that you have and practicing this 10 to 15 times until you got it down. And then move on to tying an actual fly. We hope you're enjoying this beginner fly tying masterclass. In the next video, we're gonna dive into a couple more essential techniques and start tying up our first fly. See you over there.